My name is MJ Petroni. I have this bizarre background of being a cyborg anthropologist, which means I honestly studied Star Trek in college. But in addition to studying kind of weird sci-fi stuff about what's possible in the future, cyborg anthropology studies not just how we make technology, but how it remakes or reshapes us. Digital transformation is creating a world where businesses must test new exponential strategies while maintaining incremental business function to keep the lights on. We have to ask ourselves, how can we manage this balance between old and new and choose which path is right for us as we modernize? To be prepared to lead our companies into the future, we need to increase our digital fluency. We have to be digitally fluent so that we can speak and translate the language of technologies and technologists, shaping our livelihoods and organizations. Most approaches to going digital focus on only one or two elements of the larger equation of what we might know as digital transformation. Maybe we start with finding out what tools are available or get a briefing on business model trends. That's like learning a few phrases in a foreign language while you're away on vacation. Yeah, it's useful, but it's not the same as being able to have a real conversation. Why fluency? Well, if we want to lead in a digital world, we need more than catchphrases. We need fluency or we'll never be able to cause the disruptive movements people talk about. Fluency includes not only words, but also culture, ways of thinking, and a lot of practice. Similarly, effective digital strategies require more than a cursory knowledge of tech terms. These strategies have to introduce new paradigms to bridge the gaps between technological and human elements of change. Existing analog businesses are often used to thinking of digital information technology, or IT, as a utility, something that enables their business to be faster, better, or cheaper. But we need to start to think of digital as a capability. That's not in just one department but it's across the entire organization. Digital leaders and teams are fluent in five key pillars, thinking, data, business models, tools, and skills. Let's start with thinking. The mental models of the 20th century won't allow us to see the future. We need to upgrade our thinking in order to realize the opportunities of the digital age. Data, in order to create digital value, we have to understand how data is structured and how it moves from system to system and how it can be monetized in an ethical way. Business models. Digital business models and value propositions require new thinking about who creates value and how it's delivered. Tools. Selecting and implementing tools for digital value creation, it's not as easy as it might seem. Yeah, the right tool can save you a lot of work, but the wrong tool can really distract you from your goals. Skills. A new set of skills is required for digital value to be created. Yes, there are technical skills, but also intellectual, interpersonal, and leadership skills that we need to acquire and evolve. One of the ways to think about this is what the lowest common denominator is between those various pillars. If you're great on the digital thinking and understand what's going on out there, but you don't have the tools to put that thinking into action, that'll be the limiting factor. Have great tools, but the people haven't really figured out how to use social or other elements of modern technology then it's not the tools that are the limiting factor, it's the thinking. Once you figure out what that lowest common denominator is, you can unlock new exponential potential for yourself and your organization. Before we can shape the future, we need to raise our digital fluency.